How fun! A mí Jory le gusta cuando lo hacemos en el carro, la escalera, la cocina o la bañera. El sexo lo disfruta más cuando... I would be lying if I said I wasn't incredibly anxious right now for a literal multitude of reasons. By the way, please excuse my lip. It's literally not the first time this has happened to me on my YouTube channel that my lips get so dry that they crack and it looks like a cold sore, but it's not. Anyways, so I'm going to El Salvador, obviously, because I have never been to where my boyfriend is from. So he's been wanting me to go for a really long time and I've never been able to because for the longest time I was waiting for immigration documents from the US. Inspired by the hanging ears of drip coffee bags and made of milled fine calfskin leather, which is soft but supple, the Drippy Tote is my favorite everyday bag to grab and go, ensuring that whatever happens that day, I'll have the space to carry it with me. One of the things that make the Drippy Tote so versatile is that it can be carried in hand, crossbody, or on the shoulder with a detachable and adjustable widened strap, which also reduces shoulder pressure and keeps the bag from falling off your shoulder, which is perfect for work or study or carrying a million things in your hands, which is me. Hi. It's large enough to fit a 16-inch laptop, makeup bag, an enormous water bottle, and don't ask how I know, but believe me, much, much more. The large drippy tote was exactly the kind of bag I was looking for to take with me on all of my travels. For its spaciousness, practicality, durability, but also its unique sophistication, which makes it perfect to take to work, stylish enough to make a fashion statement, and practical enough to fit absolutely everything I would need on the go. Besides the small pocket and great volume inside, the drippy ear part on both sides can actually be used to hold your phone or any other small items that you need to conveniently grab whenever you need them. In addition to the gold-plated, fade-resistant hardware, the gold four-foot studs at the bottom of the bag protect the bag from stains and scratches, which, if you travel and have to set your bag down on airplane floors amongst other questionable surfaces, you would know is a godsend. Would be a perfect gift for your mom or any of your girlfriends this holiday season. Or yourself. Because, let's face it, you deserve a bag that's actually practical enough for daily use. But of course, still unique enough to stand out in a crowd. I will never not be the mom of the friend group. So my large drippy tote is not only mine, but everyone's favorite this trip. And as a reminder, Songmont was created in 2013 by a mother and her daughter, with every bag being made by retired skilled artisans, also known as the grannies, with a dedication to sustainability, inclusivity, affordability, and quality. Songmont continues to carry the unique aesthetics and feminine nature of Oriental culture through generations and across borders. Last month, I finally got my advanced parole documents, which if you don't know what that is, consider yourself a very, very lucky person because immigrants have to do a whole lot of really complicated, time-consuming stuff, including applying for approval from the US government in order to travel while your green card is processing. Because if you don't know, some people wait like eight months for their green card, whereas some people will wait 18 years. I really don't know which one is gonna be me. So I really need this document in order to not have to be in the United States for an undisclosed amount of time, right? Since I got the document, I can finally go to El Salvador, but there's a condition. Say you got approved for this document and you want to travel, well, you can leave the country, that's fine. But whether or not they're going to let you back into America is up to the discretion of the officer that's working at customs. There's just so much conflicting information online. And even if you read like, oh yeah, I did it for like five years and it was totally fine. Nothing bad ever happened to me. The approval form the government sends you literally says that they can deny you entry and deny you a green card for having left and having used this document they granted you. How non-confusing. From my understanding, something bad will only happen to people who have overstayed in the United States for longer than they were legally allowed to. I have never done that, so I'm kind of hoping that everything's gonna be okay. I was doing my anxious Google searching to try to comfort myself, and on the US government website, it says that the customs officer that you walk up to once you arrive back to the United States will have a conversation with you and decide if you are not only worthy to come to the United States, but if you benefit the United States, like monetarily, if you will make enough money that your presence will benefit the US. And if they decide that it doesn't, okay, I'm like actually making my own self anxious and maybe it's time to stop. I really 
want to wear this. I get hot really easily. You know, some people get cold really easily. I'm the opposite. I get really hot everywhere all the time. So it's not going to work. Right? Fun fact, these headphones are actually not for listening to music, they are for drowning out at least some of the noise because the airport is so noisy and it's so overstimulating. I love LAX International Airport Terminal. because today I finally, well, I ended up having to take my Uber to my boyfriend's grandparents' house because he did actually make it back to El Salvador on time, but I still had to Uber there. But he was running late for a dentist appointment and he took me and I'm like, can you ask them if they can like give me a dental cleaning? He filled like four cavities in 30 minutes. Gay -y. Gay -y. Swap. Swap. Hi guys, it is day two in El Salvador. We are back at the dentist right now. I've been wanting these earrings for like six months and I finally decided to get them because I saw this video on social media where someone was saying that the knockoffs from Amazon are actually better than the real ones because the real ones are not even plated in real gold. These ones are hypoallergenic and they're $8 and I'm gonna play a little game and ask my boyfriend how much he thinks these cost me because the correct answer is $8 and he better not say that because that's rude. By the way, today is my boyfriend's birthday. I'm the only one here, which is why I'm so brave to be speaking English out loud. I don't know why I'm like kind of shy still. I am so happy because yesterday I was in this office and I got all of these cavities fixed. I have cavities on all of my teeth, pretty much. And best of all, do you guys know how much fixing all of these cavities cost me? $250 and it was done in 30 minutes and I felt no pain at all. I literally almost don't care if you have $3 million in your bank account. I would not recommend going to US dentists because so much of it is just business for them. Like, and it's at the expense of my well being and my ability to not feel pain. But I genuinely think that dental pain is the worst kind of pain. Like, when your teeth are just killing. Yeah, I'll do anything to avoid having to go through that again. Guess how much my earrings cost? Are they real? Yes, they're plated in real gold, 14 karat gold. Well, plated probably like 100 bucks, 20 bucks. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, 20 bucks? Eight. Eight dollars? 99. Well, that's not real gold. It, well, it's plated in it. No, but does it no, mean real look. gold? No, look. say that if you're one of those people that can close their eyes and fall asleep i hate you and i'm jealous of you because i will never be that person literally ever i don't know what it takes for me to fall asleep but i literally cannot do it and it's so fucking frustrating part of why i hate traveling <laughs>
want to tell the vlog what this part of the city is called. Oh, too cold. I look bald. That's why you have to get an aerial for me. So my boyfriend's house has two bathrooms, one of which is currently infested with like this tiny little cucaracha looking thing. It is obviously probably not a cockroach, but uh, something of that nature. And then the second bathroom has huge spiders. I guess I'm not washing this mask off today. The insects have won. Also, I hope you guys like my mosquito bite. Also, my Mosquito. 